I'm Rob Chappers and today I've got a fantastic guitar to show you guys. This is a master built lag. This is a Roxanne 3000 in Bleu de Nîmes colour. I'm not sure what Bleu de Nîmes means, I think it means badass because this guitar is incredible. <laughs> Yeah, it's a beauty, real beauty of a guitar, um, reminiscent of PRS I suppose. Uh, this one is signed by Michelle Lag on the back, I'll give you a close up for that, via the magic of video. Um, and yeah, I'm really impressed, it feels like a lovely weight, good old weight to it, um, beautiful looking top, um, awesome quality finish on the woods, everything's just put together really nicely. Um, I met Michelle Lag at the NAM show. Uh, the Winter Nam Show, and he's a lovely guy, really down to earth, um, knows his business, you know what I mean? He's a clever dude, been building guitars by hand for a long time, and he puts his heart and soul into it. Um, and this is what you get when you put your heart and soul into making wonderful guitars, it really is. I'm going to whack it through this wonderful Marshall JMD-1 here for you, um, valve-driven piece of goodness, with a digital preamp. And I love it, so check this out. Nothing is skipped here, they haven't kind of cut any corners or or done anything that would reduce the quality in any way at all. Beautiful, beautiful build. So this is a flamed maple top, as you can see, uh, on a book-matched African mahogany body. Uh, there's ebony all around the sides here. I'll try and give you a close-up of that as well because it's just beautiful. <laughs> The neck is also made from African mahogany. Um, it's got an ebony fretboard, jumbo frets. Uh, this thing is built for speed. I'm beginning to see what Chris George, the Marshall guy, sees in loud guitars now. Um, just really nice. Uh, it's got what they call an ergonomic access neck. It's just a really good access on the back of the neck. Take a look at that. You can get your hand really high. Quality bit of woodmanship there. Mother of pearl fingerboard inlays there. Comes with Goto High Precision 510 tuning pegs. Uh, they work, they keep things in tune. Actually, I must admit, I did tune it and discovered that it stayed in tune. A lot of guitars you tune them and you've got to tune them kind of two or three times to keep them in tune. We tuned it once, it was there. I like that, well done, lag. <laughs> are Dimasio DP196 and a DP160, both of them coil tappable for your delight. Three-way toggle switch, uh, tone, uh, very simple, very powerful, does exactly what you need. Something I really like about the Lang guitars is the personal touch. Um, I mean, like I said, Michelle has personally signed the back of this guitar and you get a little certificate that he's also signed uh, saying, you know, when the guitar was born. Uh, what serial number it is, all that kind of thing. This was made on the 25th of September 2008. So as you can tell, she sounds just as good as she looks. Um, I'm in love with this guitar, I really am. I think the only thing that, that for me gets in the way is the body shape doesn't really fit my body. However, I'm a fat hairy dude. It may just be that I'm the wrong shape, you never know. Um, there's a little bit small here for my leg and a little bit small here for my belly. But there you go. Other than that, for me, this is just a beauteous guitar and uh, I recommend you go out and buy a load of them. <laughs> Yeah, 
you know, I really have a great job, I really do, and it's because I get guitars like this to review. Guitars that people who know what they're doing have made, and uh, so yeah, it's a great guitar, man. Anyway, I'm Rob Chappers, you guys take it easy, see you all soon. Chappers out.